Hello, and welcome to our PeriOp Sim VR demo. Now, where we are right now is in the lobby, and we're able to scroll through and select different modules. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over and do the inguinal hernia repair preview module. All right, so first I'm going to orient you to the operating room. So if I'm taking a look around, I can see the back table here. I've got the screens up here where I can do some navigation. I've got the surgeon hand, the neutral zone for sharp zone safety, and the mayo sand. And I am going to start now. This is a short preview version of the inguinal hernia repair. This procedure is showing an inguinal hernia repair. I'll be the surgeon. Be prepared to grab the right instrument at the right time. Using a number 20 blade, we will make a deep skin incision. So similar to the iPad version, we're using video and what we're doing is we're picking up instruments on the stand and we're able to pick it up in different orientations. All right, so I'm gonna reach over and grab the scalpel here and I can put it directly in the surgeon's hand but I should actually practice the sharp zone safety so I'm going to put it into the neutral zone. Great job. We will use a cautery to cut through the campus fascia. Thank you. So as you can see there, I anticipated a little bit so um, I'm getting a higher score on the scoreboard. Wheat lana, please. Now this one I'm going to pass incorrectly to the surgeon, and what you'll see is the surgeon will grasp the instrument in the way they would That's like it. to be passed it. So the next time I go through, I can put the instrument into the surgeon's hand. Army Navy Retractor. It. Now this one I'm going to put on the Mayo stand. Good. We are now cutting through the external oblique muscles. Number three, scalpel with number 10 blade. So this one I'm gonna hand directly to the surgeon's hand, so it should be incorrect. Yes, that's correct. So you see how it turned yellow, so it's the correct instrument, but because I handed it directly to his hand. Cryo clamp. And not to the neutral zone, um, it was yellow, and then you can see my score decrease significantly because of that. Good. I know that he wants two One of them. more cryo clamp, correct. So my score's back up. So I Curved really met scissors, please. That's correct. The other thing to note is if I drop an instrument, that dropped pencil. instrument will need to be reprocessed. So I get an error. So you could hear the verbal cue saying that I should not drop instruments. So that's a big piece. The other thing I'm going to show you is if we put our hands below the table, then I will also get penalized. Hey, keep your hands above the table. So we implement some scoring penalties to ensure that learners learn not to do those things. Yes, that's correct. Identifying the poo parts ligament. This was just a short preview. The full version is available for group licensing. Please have your nurse educator contact us for more details. Now what you can see here is the debrief screen. So with this debrief screen, I've got the score, time saved, the correct count, and you can see a track here. And if I highlight one of the areas where there was an issue, so you can see here that the scalpel was passed to the right hand instead of the neutral zone, so I got a significant penalty because of that. So I dropped an instrument as well, um, and so you get penalized here too. And you notice that I saved some time, so there was a couple times where I anticipated, so I was rewarded for that as well. Now to complete this, you finish the debrief, and then you'll go back into the lobby. Thank you for the time today.